sit down a little bit. I'm just going to use like five, ten minutes. I'm going to be very specific, and we're going to get straight to the point. Hallelujah. What's with that? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me start by saying, yesterday is the past. Tomorrow is also, yesterday is also history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is the present. It's called the gift. The reason why they call it the present. That term means today we are going to unwrap that present and see what God has for you. Come on, begin to unwrap it. Unwrap that present on your leg. It's there on your leg. Begin to unwrap it. Come on, don't act like it's not there. It is there. And I'm telling you to begin to unwrap it right now. Amen. Amen. Do like you are opening something. Just do like you are opening something. Some of you are not, you think it's a joke. Amen. It is right there on your leg. Amen. 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 Check what the other person has. Check, check their leg to see. Amen. Don't steal it though. Just check. Amen. Amen. God is in this house today. Amen. I want to appreciate um, the youth definitely for what they are doing. I want to appreciate um, the singers and I want to appreciate everybody that took their time to come to this place. I mean, haven't you been having a good time? Let's not lie to that. Isn't it, isn't it great? Amen. Is it not true? Is it not true? Uh -huh. Amen. So, one thing I want you to understand is that the God in which we serve has always been in charge. Our God is the CEO of the whole earth. What do you give a CEO? What do you give a man that owns it all? I mean, this man is the landlord of the whole thing. What could you give him specifically? What do you give a man that owns it all? There's nothing to give him than to say thank you. Amen. Amen. Don't spend too much time asking God for something. Thank him for what he hasn't done. Amen. If you are in a mess, it is okay. The meaning of testimony means test to money. Amen. Ah, some of you didn't catch it. <laughs> testimony. Read now. Three syllabic structure. Test to money. It's coming. Look at the person next to say it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. We are there. We are there. Hallelujah. In life, there are no accidents. There are no mistakes. There are only lessons. And you're going to keep learning that lesson until you get it. Amen. Amen. You can't pay your bill at the end of the month. You are learning a lesson. Next month, you can't pay your bill. You have learned the same lesson again. <laughs> Third month, you haven't paid your bill. Well, you are still in the same shoes. It's a lesson you are learning. Don't worry. It's not a mistake. You are learning a lesson until you what? Yes. Until you what? Yes. Hallelujah. God is going to make us get it here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you one more thing. You know, let me sit down. I'm feeling a little tired. Let me talk to you. I have five. Pastor. First pastor. Amen. I have five minutes. Which pastor? Okay, it's not here. So I can use it. Now listen carefully to this one. The lion, the lion is the king of the jungle. But what amazes me about this whole thing is that the lion is not the strongest animal in the jungle. Do you know that? It is not the fastest animal in the jungle. It is not the smartest animal in the jungle. But yet, it's still the king. How does he do this? Despite his weaknesses and disadvantages. Do you get it? Despite his shortcomings, he's still the king of the jungle. Listen, I'm here to make an announcement to you that whatever it may be that it looks like, you are still the king in where you are, in Jesus' name. Oh, come on, somebody can do better than that. Oh my God. You see, God is in charge, not because someone gave him the throne. God has always been in charge. He doesn't know how not to be in charge. In other words, my life and your life don't have time for on-the-job training for God. So we need a God that knows what he's doing. <laughs> Amen. I mean, you're not going to ask God. God will say, you know, I was just joking about what you said. That's not God. Amen. It's only a man that can say that. Do you get what I'm saying? So we don't need all the job training for God. You need to know your God. The Bible says those who know their gods. That means it's not everybody. That excludes some people from the equation. Those who know their God. We are all in church. But those who know their God, amen, will do great exploits. Amen. 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 Shake the person next to you. Shake them. Shake them a little bit. Shake them. Grip, grip. Just move them. Move them. Small, small. Amen. Okay, make sure I shake them. Small. I beg, I beg most. A little bit more. Shake them, shake them. Let me tell you what praises can do for you. 
In the U.S., and thank God my brother is here from U.S., we went to the same school, Worcester State College. Thank God, Bio is here, so it's not like I'm lying. <laughs> Amen. In the U.S., I spent, there was a time, I just got a job in the bank. And I, I'm being honest about this. And I was praising God that particular night. I praised God so much for two hours, dancing by myself, because I like to dance. Some of you don't. I like dancing. Eh? You just start dancing craziness in your room by yourself. You don't need anybody to be there, just dance like you're crazy. Amen. How many of you do, do that? How many of you do that? I know that little people, there are worshippers in the house. You just start dancing like what? If someone enters your room by mistake, eh? Are you okay? <laughs> but that's what praise. So when I did that for two hours, I got back to job and my boss, that was my boss, was fired. They didn't have any other replacement than to put me to make me the boss. I just got a job, they made me the boss. Let me tell you what praise can do for you. Amen. Oh, come on, pinch the person next to you and say, God is about to do something. <laughs> Listen, some of you are not getting it. I have two more minutes. Let me make you get it. Listen, God is not logic. God, there is no understanding with God. Two plus two is not four. God created time, stepped out of time to control time. In other words, it's not, he's not in that equation of time. That limitness of time, God is not in it. He's out of it. So, you have to accept what God is saying. You don't have to understand it, but you have to understand. You have to accept it. It is not logical. One plus one is not two. It's eleven. Look at the person next to you and say it's eleven. It's eleven. By fire, by force, my own is eleven. Yes, it is eleven today in Jesus' name. Amen. You say God is going exponential now. It's no more plus. Amen. So let me let me break it down for you. My mother has. I think Pastor is giving me a sign. Yeah, Pastor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> As I was saying before Pastor Susan, uh -huh. this is the thing we say. God has a way of doing things outstanding in your life that will blow you away. It's called an embarrassing breakthrough. You can't keep it anymore. Why is God embarrassing me like this? Eh? It's not good. How many of you are looking for something like that? I'm not saying that uh, embarrassing liability that they're chasing you around the whole place. Amen. There was a time I was owing money in America. And uh, every time someone knocks the door like this, eh? I didn't know whether it was, the, you know, <laughs> went to my friend's house, I didn't know if council was chasing him. So anytime, oh, don't open that door, don't open that door, you don't know, what's wrong with this guy? Is there somebody chasing you? Amen. That will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Our God can do more than what you are thinking in your mind. So the praise today is meant to get you to a place before you ask God, God has done it. Just because you are thinking about it. Amen. That's a higher level. Catch it before you say it. Say, song, say that to someone. Catch it before you say it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's get up on our feet. My time is up. Amen. The, the presence of pastor is, is affecting me. Yeah. Amen. We're going to close our eyes where we are. Father, we thank you and we glorify you. You are doing something outstanding already. You found us before we found you. Therefore, we walked into a miracle before we found out. So we are saying thank you, God, because you went ahead of us to prepare the place we are about to walk into. Now we have walked into that place. We are celebrating the goodness of God. Goodness and mercy will not depart from us because we are doing something new. We are not in a logical and thinking state anymore. We move to the state of believing God for what is impossible. Father, we are saying do something ridiculous in our life. We are saying do something crazy in our life. We are saying when we mention it to someone, they won't even believe it. They'll say, hey, where did it happen? See, it's a kid's one. Yes, it happened in see, it's a kid's one. We want to say something reasonable in this church. More than reasonable in this church. We are doing something and you are doing something. You say, yes, my father and I are still working. God is still working on your behalf. And we are saying yes and amen. So whatever God says, we say yes and amen. Today, it will be so in Jesus' name. Glorify you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shake person next to you. Shake person next to you. Amen. Hallelujah.